glory and honor, Lord, because you are a mighty God. You are the great I am. And we ask you to cover this place. We ask, ask you to sanctify this place. We ask you to sa uh, saturate this place with your goodness, with your grace, with your mercy, with your love, with your Holy Ghost, Lord. Let someone speak in an unknown tongue today, Father God. Let, let you be lifted up and raised, Father God, that the heavens may rejoice and say, Hallelujah. We are all running a race, Father God. We're all running a race, Father God. And, our, and the end game is, is glorifying you and getting to heaven, Lord. And if we can take somebody with us, Father God, if we can show forth your goodness by our humility, by our peace, by our kind gestures, by our love, Lord. Let your manifestation guide us, teach us, mold us in your image, Father God. Bless us this day, Father God, as, as your word gets ready to come forth, Lord. Anoint the pastor, the bishop, Father God, as he preaches your word, Father God. Use him like an instrument, Father God, like a surgeon. Cuts open a heart, Lord, Father God. Open up our hearts, open up our minds, open up our spirits, Lord, so that we can receive you, Lord. We can understand you better, Father God. Make it more plain, make it more clear to us, Father God. Bless those needs, Father God. Bless those doubts, Father God. Bless those fears, Father God. Take them away. Let us leave them at the altar right now, Father God, so that you can be lifted up. Let us not doubt. Let us not fear. Let, 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 let there nothing be hindering us, Father God, from outstretching our hands to you and knowing that your promise is true. Bless us, Father God. Bless our homes, Father God. Bless our cars. Bless our work. Bless our schools. Bless our children. Bless our families. Bless us, Father God. We lift you up. Bless the, the songs, songs that's going to come forth, Father God, and give you praise. Let, let their anointing be in her heart, be in her spirit. Let it, let, it, let it just resonate over us, Father God. Help us. Help us. Help us. Help us, Lord. We all have our, our needs and our wants, but we just need your help. We need to know, we need to know, Lord, that you are with us. And you are carrying us, Father God. Like those footsteps in the sand, Lord. You just picked us up. Hallelujah. You pick us up, Lord. You know us. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now hug somebody and tell them I love you. And I'm happy to see you. And today is a good day. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. How many come to give God glory this morning? Hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together for Jesus. Come on, put them together for the King. We've come to lift our hands and give him glory. We've come to lift our hands and give him praise. We've come to lift our hands and give him glory. We've come to lift our hands and give him praise. Can you sing that with me? Say, we've come to lift our A little bit louder, say. Say, we've come to lift. We've come to lift our hands and we've come to lift. Say, give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. We've come to lift our hands and give him praise. Give him glory, glory, give him glory. We've come to lift our hands and give him praise. Now come on and put your hands together. Let's take it up a little bit higher. We've come to clap. We've come to clap our hands and send up Judah. We've come to clap our hands and give him praise. We've come to clap our hands and send up Judah. We've come to clap our hands and give him praise. Can you sing that with me? Say, we've come. Say, we've come to clap our hands. Say, we've come to clap our hands and send up Judah. We've come to clap our hands. Say, give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. We've come to clap our hands and give him praise, give him glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've come to clap our hands and give him praise. Let's take it up a little bit higher, come on. We've 
come to do our dance and magnify him. We've come to do our dance and give him praise. We've come to do our dance and magnify him. We've come to do our dance and give him praise. Everybody say, and magnify him. Say, we've come to do our dance. Everybody say, we've come to do our dance. Say, we've come to do our dance. Come on, say, give him glory. I hear you. We've come to do our dance. Say, give him glory. We've come to clap, we've come to do our head, we've come to clap our head, say we've come to lift our head, we've come to lift our head, we've come to lift our head, we've come to lift our hands, say we've come to clap our hands, we've come to clap our hands, we've come to clap our hands, say we've come to clap our hands, say we come to do our day, we've come to do our day, we've come to do our day. We've come to do our this. Say we've come to lift our hands. We've come to lift our hands. We've come to lift our hands. And give him praise. Hallelujah. Now we're all going to get on one accord. Hallelujah. Let's all get on one accord in this place. Come on, somebody just shout out. Say hallelujah. Come on, shout it out like you really mean it. Say hallelujah. Come on, say Lord, we love you. Come on, say, Lord, we bless you. Come on, say, Lord, we adore you. Now, everybody just repeat after me. Let's let the praises ring. Come on. Say, hallelujah. 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 Come on and say, Lord, we love you. Say, Lord, we love you. Say, Lord, we love you. Say, Lord, we bless you. Say, Lord, we praise 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 you. Come on and say, Lord, you're worthy. Say, Lord, you're worthy. Say, Lord, you're worthy. Say, Lord, you're worthy. Yeah, say, Lord, you're holy. Say, Lord, you're holy. Say, Lord, you're holy. Say, Lord, you're holy. Come on and say, we adore you. Say, we adore you. Say, we adore you. Say, we adore you. Say, hallelujah. 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 What is the highest praise it is? Say, hallelujah. Say, hallelujah. Say, hallelujah. Say, hallelujah. Yeah, I say, Lord, we thank you. My God, we thank you for everything that you've done for us. Say, Lord, we thank you. Say, Lord, you're holy. Say, Lord, you're holy. Say, Lord, you're holy. Say, Lord, you're holy. Come on and put your hands together for the king. Yay! Now without the music, come on. Say, hallelujah. 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 Come on and say, Lord, we love you. 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 Say, Lord, we bless you. There's nobody like you. Yeah. Say, Lord, we bless you. Yeah. Lord, we bless you. Come on and say, Lord, you're worthy. Say, Lord, you're worthy of every hand clap, Jesus. Of every time I lift my hand. Come on, Lord, you're worthy. Say, Lord, you're worthy. Say, Lord, you're worthy. Say, Lord, you're worthy. Yeah, say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. We lift our praise up, yeah, Lord. We say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Let the praises ring out, say. Come on, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we adore you. Yes, Lord, we bless you. We understand there's nobody like him. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've come to lift, we've come to lift our hands. We've come to lift our hands. We've come to lift our hands. We've come on. Say we've come to clap. We've come to clap. Yeah. 
Say we've come to do our dance. 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 Say we've come to lift our hands. We've come to lift our hands. We've come to lift our and give him praise. Now come on and give God some praise in this place. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. We give you the glory. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout out, say glory to the king. Come on, say it again. Say glory to the king. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Can you put your hands together like this? Glory, glory, glory to our King. Hold on. All right. I don't know if it's, I don't know. Is it either, either the music's too loud or is that's not it? No, you're not singing? Okay, at least you're honest. Come on, say. Glory, glory, glory to our King. That's it. To the Lamb who was slain for our beer. Say glory, glory, glory to our King. That's it. To the Lamb who was slain for our beer. Oh, we cry glory to our King. So you know it. Come on, lift your voice. We cry glory to our King. Let's take it up just a little bit higher, come on. Holy, holy, holy is our King. The Lamb who was slain for our beer. Everybody say holy, holy, holy is our King. The lamb who was slain for our being. Oh, we cry glory. Say, yeah. Oh, we cry glory. Now try this, come on. Sing hallelujah. Uh-huh. Lord, you're worthy, you're so worthy, hallelujah, that's it, say, Lord, you're worthy, you're so worthy, oh, we cry glory, yeah, yeah, we cry glory, we're going to take it up again, come on, repeat after me. Say, sing a new song to our King. To the Lamb who was slain for our being. I hear you singing, you sound good. Sing a new song to our King. To the Lamb who was slain for our being. Now lift your voice real loud. Oh, we cry glory. Yeah, yeah. Say, yeah. Oh, we cry glory. Say, yeah. Yeah, we cry glory. Yeah. Oh, we cry glory. Everybody sing hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy. You're so worthy. Sing hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy. You're so worthy. Sing hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy. 
You're so worthy. Sing hallelujah. A little bit louder. Come on. Say, Lord, you're worthy. You're so worthy. Come on, louder. Sing hallelujah. Yeah. Lord, you're worthy. You're so worthy. Sing hallelujah. Yeah. Lord, you're worthy. You're so worthy. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. That's it. Sing hallelujah. Yeah. Sing hallelujah. Now try this. Come on, say. Lord, you're worthy. You're so worthy. Lord, you're worthy. You're so worthy. Lord, you're righteous. You're so righteous. Hold on. I like that, Mother Helms. Everybody put your hands together like this. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Hand clap for Jesus. Hand clap. Hand clap for Jesus. Hand clap. Hand clap. Say, Lord, you worthy. You're so worthy. Lord, you worthy. You're so worthy. Say, Lord, you're holy. You're so holy. Lord, you're holy. You're so holy. Say, Lord, you're righteous. You're so righteous. Lord, you're righteous. You're so righteous. Say, Lord, you're mighty. You're so mighty. Lord, you're mighty. You're so mighty. Lord, you're worthy. You are so worthy. Lord, you're worthy. So, so 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 worthy. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, Lord, you're worthy. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We bless your name right now. We say thank you, Jesus. We say, Lord, we love you. We magnify you, Jesus. Oh, God, we adore you. We lift your name higher and higher. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. You are so worthy. Yeah. Yeah. Now come on and put your hands together for the king of kings. Yeah. There's nobody like him. 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 Come on. Lord, you're worthy. You're so worthy. Lord, you're holy. You're so holy. Lord, you're faithful. You're so faithful. Lord, you're mighty. You're so mighty. Come on, sing hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, Lord. Sing hallelujah. Yeah, hey. Sing hallelujah. Yeah, hey. Sing hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. Sing hallelujah. We magnify you. Sing hallelujah. Yeah, God, we exalt you. Come on, sing hallelujah. Oh, God, we extol you. Sing hallelujah. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Father. Sing hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Oh, we cry glory to our say yeah yeah we cry glory yes lord say yeah yeah we cry glory yeah oh we cry glory yes lord to our king now come on and give God some glory in this place. We bless your name right now, Lord. We bless your name right now, Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. To the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, God, we give you glory. I just want to be in your presence, Lord. I just want to feel your anointing. It's something scary when you go to worship and you don't feel nothing. Has anybody ever been in that place? I'm going to tell on myself, I've been in that place. Thank you, Mother Hamilton, because if Mother Hamilton been in that place, then I know I ain't crazy because Mother Hamilton is all the way saved. And we know that. <laughs> so has anybody else ever, has anybody felt that before? You call out and it's like, I don't, I don't hear nothing. I don't feel nothing. And I don't want to be in that place ever. I never want to get to that place ever again. Because I know it's not him leaving me. It's me not being connected to him. Can you lift up your hands and say, Lord, for your glory, I'll do anything. I'll give up anything. I'll walk away from anything. Just to be in your presence, Jesus. Just to feel your anointing, God. Just to feel your power. Hallelujah. Just to feel your fire. Just to feel your Holy Ghost. God, for your glory, I'll do anything. I'll do anything. Come on and give God a praise in this place. Hallelujah. Come on, let's open up your mouth and begin to worship him. We bless your name right now, Lord. We bless your name right now, Lord. We bless your name right now, Lord, yeah. We give you all the glory, yeah. We give you all the honor. There's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. Come on, come on, somebody open up your mouth. There's nobody like you, Lord. We cry out hallelujah, El Shaddai, Elohim. You're the King of kings. You're the Lord of lords. You're the Holy One. You're the Holy One. We bless your name. We worship you. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all the glory, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord, if I find favor in your sight, then, Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting to be where you are. I cross the hardest desert. I hear you singing, come on. I travel near or far. For your glory, I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my king. For your glory, I will do anything. Just to see you, hallelujah, to behold you as, with your hands up, come on, say, Lord, if I, everybody say, Lord, uh -huh. find favor in your sight, then Lord, please, Lord, hear my heart's cry, come on, say, I'm desperately waiting, everybody, I'm to be where you are I'd cross the hottest desert and I'd travel near or far come on let's sing it again say Lord if I everybody say Lord uh-huh find favor come on say Lord Hear my heart cry. I'm desperately waiting. Yeah. Just to be where you are. I cross the hottest desert. And I travel near or far. Everybody say, for your glory. I will do it. Just to see you, Lord. To behold you as my king. Everybody 
sing for your glory. Yeah, yeah. I will do anything. I'm going where you tell me to go, dear. Just to see you, to behold you as. Everybody say for your glory. I will do anything. Yeah. Just to behold your presence, oh God, yeah. To behold you as. Everybody say for your glory. I don't care what you tell me to do, Lord. I will do anything just to see you, to behold you and, come on, say for your glory, a little bit louder, come on, say, I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my king, come on, just a little bit louder, say, for your glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to see you, Lord. I just want to be right with you, Jesus. I just want to be right with you, Jesus. I just want to be right with you, Jesus. For your glory, I will do anything. Yeah. Clean me up way down on the inside, God. Clean me up way down on the inside, God. I just want to be in your presence. I just want to feel your anointing for your glory. Yeah, I will do anything. Whatever you tell me to do. Wherever you tell me to go, Lord. Yeah. Come on, one more time, everybody. Say, for your glory. I will do anything, yeah. Just to see you. To behold you as. To behold you as. With your hands up, come on, say. I want to be where you are. I got to be where you are. Yes. I want to be where you are. Wherever that is. I got to be where you are. Say, I want to be where. Say, I got to be where. Come on, say, I want to be where you are. Say, I got to be where you are. Now from the top of your lungs, come on, say, I want to be, I want to be where you are. Yeah, say, I got to be. I gotta be where you are. I wanna be where you are. I wanna lay at your feet, Jesus. Yeah, I wanna be where you are. I gotta be where you are. I just wanna be where you are. Yeah, I gotta be where you are. Sing it one more time, say, I want to be where, I want to be in your presence, I want to feel your anointing, I want you to rain, 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 rain down on us, yeah, rain, 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 rain down on us, yeah, rain down on us, yeah, rain down on us, yeah. Rain down on us, yeah. Come on, say, I want to be you. I got As everyone is standing all over the building, as everyone is standing, I 
Eyes closed, hands lifted up. Give me a little more, Mother McCandy, please. Eyes closed, hands lifted up. Just worship him for a moment. Just worship him for a moment. Hallelujah. 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 Lean your head back and shout hallelujah. Lean your head back one more time and shout hallelujah. One more time and shout hallelujah. Now put those hands together and bless his name. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we thank you. We, keep, we bless your name. And Lord, we thank you for who you are. Lord, we adore you. We honor you as our king, as the only living God, our savior, our everything. We give you praise. We give you thanks. We give you glory and honor. And Lord, as we worship you, we, we know you're turning situations around right now. You're saving, you're healing. You're delivering. You're making a way out of no way. You're opening doors. Hallelujah. You're keeping our minds. Hallelujah. You're strengthening us. And Lord, we thank you. Not only for what you do, but just for who you are. And we praise you for your divine presence that we feel right now. Hallelujah. Your anointing that's resting on us, that's lifting burdens, that's destroying yokes, and setting the oppressed free. We thank you now. We praise you now. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Give God glory. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. Amen. Hug somebody and tell them I'm so glad to see you. Amen. Hug somebody else. Tell them I'm glad to see you too. Amen. As you touch one another, tell them, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, it's, it's good to be here. Amen. It's good to be in the house of God. And certainly, we thank God for keeping us and making a way for us. And, and um, we thank God for those of you that are here and uh, those that are joining us online. It sounds a little, amen. We bless God for you as well. Amen. And uh, let's run to Genesis chapter 49. I'm not going to be before you long. Uh, amen. I'm not going to be before you long. Amen. And um, it's supposed to be really hot today. So I'm going to let y'all get out of here and get home into your air conditioning. Amen. And it's a holiday, so um, we want to be mindful of that. Genesis chapter 49, <clears throat> and we will lift, um, uh, verses 8, 9, and 10. Verses 8, 9, and 10 of Genesis chapter 49. Amen. And birthday shout out to Elder Cologne today. Amen. Bless you, man. Um, 
Genesis 49 and 8. If you have it, can you say amen? Uh, if your neighbor doesn't have it, be a good neighbor, a kind neighbor, and share the word of God with them. Genesis 49 and 8 reads, Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey, my son. Thou art gone up. He stooped down, he coucheth as a lion and as an old lion. Who shall rouse him up? You know, sometimes you don't want to mess with the praise. The scepter shall not depart from Judah nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. And the church say amen. Let me look at your neighbor and say, your praise will handle your problem. Amen. Look at the other neighbor and say, neighbor, your praise will handle your problem. Give God praise all over the building. Um, the setting is, is very important um, in this text, as it usually is, um, because you just can't grab Scripture and run with it, but you have to be able to put it in its proper context and, and its proper setting. And uh, this uh, particular scripture, this particular passage, comes in a time of transition. It's where uh, Jacob or Israel is, is going off the scene. And as he's uh, going off the scene, he is, uh, as the scripture describes him, old and well stricken in age. But you find that he uh, has been able to survive a long time. He's come through uh, all the opposition. He's come through a lot of heartache, heartbreak. A lot of things have happened to him, but he now uh, finds himself uh, near the end of his life, but he's still summoning enough, enough strength to pronounce blessings on his children. He told them at the beginning of this chapter, he says, come my sons, and gather yourselves together that I may tell thee what shall befall thee in the last days. In other words, he got enough strength to tell you, I'm going to prophesy over you and tell you uh, not only who you are, but tell you what you're going to be. Amen. It's important, amen, when you look at that, uh, to uh, kind of grasp the concept uh, of uh, the Old Testament father and and even not just the Old Testament father, but of fathers in general, and how uh, they are supposed to leave some sort of legacy and have some sort of impact on their offspring. Amen. Um, the father is supposed to be the priest of their household. Uh, and they're supposed to be the one that kind of not only hopefully leave something of a legacy in terms of financial uh, uh, income, but also uh, they're supposed to leave a legacy, probably more importantly, uh, of a spiritual, amen, impact. In other words, they're supposed to be able uh, to in some way, now of course it doesn't diminish the role of women and the role of the mother, uh, because the household is supposed to be a spiritual one. It's quiet in here, but uh, it's okay. Uh, but, but if you have a spiritual household, they are working together, and they're supposed to maintain the connection for the whole family to God. But as the father, amen, has this connection, they, as they're leaving the scene now, in this time of transition, they're able to speak something over their children. Amen. It's important for them to have spoken something throughout the child's life, but, but importantly, as these are these are older folks, all these folks are now older. They they have been through the drought. They've been through the the time of of lack, the famine that had been in the land, and now here they are. Amen. Jacob, in other words, is now going off the scene and. Joining
Joseph is moving, has moved already into the head of the family, but Jacob has still got something left that he can give. Amen. And as, as Jacob and Joseph had been reunited finally, uh, they knew that uh, his time was coming short. Joseph brings his sons that he, his, his father had never met. And he says, who are these? These are Manasseh and Ephraim. I preached a few weeks ago uh, about, amen, Manasseh. I was preaching last week, or rather, up in uh, Vesalia. And I was talking about, amen, Manasseh and Ephraim, forgetting all those things. He's forgetting well, all the pain of his father's house, forgetting everything. He said, I forgot all that, and now the Lord has given me success in the place where I was oppressed. Hallelujah. And so now he brings these two sons and has Jacob pronounce a blessing on them. But now there's something where he wants to speak over his own children. And as he's preparing to speak to them, he brings them together. And one thing that you can count on when you have a person that is older especially one that knows they're going off the scene. When folks are going off the scene and they're older, as you get older, your filter gets a little less uh, stringent. In other words, when you get older, you don't mind telling people, amen, how you really feel, amen. When you're, when you're younger, you have a way of trying to edit some stuff and you're trying to, you know, couch it with some kind of uh, care. But you just, there are two people that you need to talk to that you know you will find out honesty amen one is old folks and two are babies our children amen the children amen and the old folks gonna tell you exactly how they feel because they got nothing to lose the children don't know any better the old folks don't care <laughs> amen so so Jacob is now letting his children have it. He's letting them know who they are and what they're going to become. He's letting them know the reason that, they, uh, the, uh, that he's speaking what he's speaking over them. But he's also, amen, in a sense, letting them know this is what your future holds and this is why your future holds this particular thing. He's pronouncing a blessing, but uh, amen, in the first few of them it doesn't sound like that uh, because you look at the first thing he tells Reuben his first son he says you are my firstborn amen and the and my might and the beginning of my strength the excellency of the dignity the excellency of power in other words Reuben you represent amen my first the first child of Israel if you will you're the first one you demonstrate to me that God was with me in a sense. But understand this. Amen. He says, you are my firstborn. You're the beginning of my strength. You're the excellency of power. He says, but the problem with you is you're unstable as water. Hallelujah. He says, in other words, you're not very strong mentally or emotionally. He says, you will not excel because you went up to thy father's bed and defilest thou by it. And you went up to my couch. In other words, you, 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 you were disrespectful. You disrespectful respected your father and the position that your father had. Amen. And what he had done was gone and slept with a woman. Amen. I believe one of the concubines or something in his father's bed. So now he, amen, had, yeah, you had some good things going for you, but now you are, amen, you're not going to succeed. You will not excel. Simeon and Levi, he puts them together. He says, because, amen, you have a problem now with anger. You are instruments of cruelty in your habitations. In other words, your, your, your fierce temper, your mind, your anger has gotten the best of you. Hallelujah. Your attitude, how you carry yourself, you're snapping all the time. He says, you, he said, I, I don't want you to come in. The, I don't want to come to your secret. Uh, he said, you all, amen, uh, and they're, I don't want to be, amen, united with them. Their anger, they killed somebody. Uh, he says, curse be your anger, for it was fierce, and your wrath, uh, for it was cruel. Uh, he said, I'm going to scatter you all throughout Israel. Uh, I'm going to scatter 
scatter you all. I'm not going to allow you to just stand on your own, but you'll be scattered and dispersed. But then he comes to Judah. Hallelujah. He comes to Judah. Amen. His fourth son, if you will. As he comes to Judah, he realizes there's something different about this one. Hallelujah. Oh, okay, since you all are, amen, in the mood to learn a little bit, I will give you a little lesson. <laughs> amen. What do you have to understand about Judah? Amen. It was when Judah, when Leah, you know the story about Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Amen. That Jacob, amen, fell in love with Rachel, Laban's daughter. And so he's in love with her and he agrees with Laban to work for seven years. Amen. And then Laban would, amen, give, amen, Rachel his daughter. The Bible describes the fact that he was so in love with Rachel that the seven years went just like that. It lasted like a day. Amen. You can be so in love, fellas, that it'll just go right by. Time will just slip right on by. Uh, and so he was ready. Amen. Had the wedding night. And you know the story that, amen, Laban pulled the old switcheroo on him and gave him Leah, the older daughter, to marry. Hallelujah. So now he says, I need you to enter into an agreement to extend your contract if you will, and work seven more years, and I'll give you Rachel also. So now he has two wives. He has Leah and Rachel. Now, if you were, amen, Jacob, you were, you would say, I got the woman that I wanted, but I have to deal with this other woman as well. Oh, God, help me. I, I might need you to cover me early because uh, I got a feeling we might have to bail out quickly. But anyway, what happens is as he has this wife, amen, he's in love with Rachel, but not in love with Leah. So Leah is married to him out of obligation, but Rachel is his wife because of love. Hallelujah. So now he, he's, he's excited about Rachel, not so so much about Leah, but here's what God does. Hallelujah. God has a way of smiling on folks that have been rejected or that are being overlooked or that are being ignored. Uh, the scripture describes it like this. When my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. So that means that no matter what happens, no matter who likes you, who cares about you, who's showing their affection or who's holding it back, the Lord says, I got my eye on your situation. Uh, hallelujah. So what he does is uh, the Lord sees that Leah is being rejected uh, and so he opens up her womb. Uh, amen. Rachel has the man but she has no children. Uh, Leah has the children but she doesn't have uh, the love from Jacob. Uh, so what she does is when she has a child, Mother Hamilton, uh, she says, uh, amen, this time my husband's going to love me. She had Reuben and she said, the Lord saw that I was rejected and now my husband is going to love me. Oh God, help us in here. I, I know it got real quiet right there because, amen, sometimes women and men, my wife reminded me as we were coming down here that women and men do things, amen, and hoping that the person that they're interested in will change their mind about how they feel. Okay, I and had a baby by him so now he's going to be in love with me. It's quiet in here. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Amen. Uh, I bought her this so now she's going to be in love with me. I did this for her so now she's got to really, amen, definitely amen, fall in love with me. So she said, amen, Leah says, the Lord saw that I was rejected so amen, I'm going to have, amen, I had a child. My husband's going to love me. She named the first child Reuben, which means see a son. Amen. The next child she had was named Simeon because she said the Lord heard that I was rejected and now my husband is going to love me. Ah, amen. My heart is going to turn right to me. Hallelujah. It's quiet in here. I got my foot on a demon. Hallelujah. But I'm going to run him on out of here in the name of Jesus. And so as, he, as she says this, every time she thinks, 
means that this is going to be the child that makes Jacob fall in love with her. Uh, but here she has a third child. Amen. Simeon's name means hearing. Amen. And now here you have the third child. She says, my husband will love me now because now I have, he will be joined to me because now I have given him three sons. Amen. Levi means joined or united. And she's doing this all the time in hopes of turning Jacob's heart to her. But watch what God does. Amen. There comes a moment when you got to stop doing stuff for other people. Sometimes you just going to have to do something because God is worthy. Hallelujah. She had another son. Lean on some of us. I have one more. She had had another son and she called this one Judah she said this time I'm going to praise the Lord lean on somebody said give birth to praise amen don't worry about whether people are going to change don't worry about whether they like you don't worry about whether they care about you just make sure you give God all the praise open your mouth and let me hear you just shout praise it was interesting uh, that now she uh, decided, the Bible says, uh, she had Judah and then she stopped bearing children for a while. Holly, uh, y'all didn't catch it. Uh, see, once you get to where you give God the glory uh, and stuff doesn't matter around you, uh, amen, you're trying to get things to move uh, on your behalf, on your schedule, uh, and when you just decide now, I'm going to give God glory because whether I get what I want are not he's still worthy of judah Hallelujah, uh, Judah. But see, you have to understand, uh, amen, the name that she had for Judah because she had now stopped bearing children. Uh, amen, she had stopped having children for a while. And after a while, the Lord remembered uh, Rachel and began to open her womb. Uh, but she did not have most of the children of Israel uh, or the sons or daughters of Jacob. Uh, amen, Leah did. Uh, but understand, she named Judah after her praise. Hallelujah. Amen. And now you find that she named, amen, this child Judah. But here's the thing. Amen. Judah is different. It does mean praise. But it is different than the other Hebrew names for praise that we find in the Psalms. Hallelujah. I'm, all, I'm almost halfway finished. Y'all don't even know it yet. Amen. See, we have these words in Psalms where we are singing or we're shouting toward God. But understand Judah doesn't stand with those. Amen. They were songs that were they were words that described how we worship the Lord. Words like uh, halal, where we get hallelujah. Amen. To hala. Amen. And zamar. Toda. Shabak. Barak. And yada. These are all Hebrew root words for praise. But Judah is not mentioned in one of them. Hallelujah. Because Judah is is different than just speaking or singing or, or shouting a praise. Oh, y'all better hear this here. Uh, I'm about to bail out quickly because, see, Judah stands alone. Judah, amen, was talking about, amen, Leah's, amen, praise to God. But now Jacob is going to describe to you, amen, that's where we pick up the text, where he's starting to talk about Judah. He tells you what this Judah means. Hallelujah. Oh, God help them tap their neighbor before they fall asleep. I say, this one is different. See, because this Judah, amen, you got to understand, was not just you singing. Because sometimes when we start thinking about praise, we look at it as if it's passive or it's something that is just cute or something that is just nice. But no, Judah is different than Tehillah. And Judah is is different than halah. Judah is different than even shabaking or shouting unto God. Judah now means, amen, it talks about warfare. Judah is talking about fighting. You say, how do you know, Pastor Hamilton? Because it says the first thing he describes about Judah is his hand being in the neck of his enemy. Oh, the 
days of his life. Hallelujah. In other words, when you talk about Judah, you're not talking about singing. You're talking about fighting. Hallelujah. Oh, y'all missed it already. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, amen, put your Judah on that. In other words, there comes a point where you got to, instead of sitting back and taking a whole lot of stuff off the enemy, you got to grab him by the neck. And your praise is the thing that grabs the enemy by the neck. And you tell him it's time because it talks about warfare. It talks about authority because now Judah ushers you in to a whole nother level of praise. Amen. Took, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, take your praise to another level. Amen. You sitting back passive and letting the enemy do what he wants to do. You're letting the devil run shot over your family and in your home. But I dare you to open your mouth and begin to put some praise on it. Give your neighbor a high five as they send Judah up in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and let me hear you praise him. Uh, I got my work cut out for me. Uh, uh, but understand. Uh, amen. She named him Judah because she says, now I'm going to give God praise. And this now uh, has entered into a warfare. He says, Judah, you are the one uh, whom your brethren shall praise. He says, your hand will be uh, in the neck of your enemy. Y'all ain't hearing me. Uh, amen, you got to catch this. Uh, he says, the tribe of Judah. Uh, amen, you don't have no negative stuff about Judah. Uh, he says, Judah, it's going to be uh, a situation where you have authority. Uh, amen, lean on your neighbor uh, as they take authority over the enemy. Hallelujah. Y'all are getting quiet. Huh? You keep waiting for folks to come by. Huh? But see, you got to understand. Huh? It's not going to be anybody else that helps you out of this one. Huh? It's going to be your praise that brings you out of this one. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? It's going to be how you war huh? in the spirit realm. Huh? Amen. Shake somebody's hand huh? and say it's spiritual warfare time. Huh? You've taken a lot of mess off the enemy. Huh? You've had a lot of ups and downs. Huh? And highs and lows. We just stepped into September. September is a foundational month. You start laying the groundwork. And it's time for preparation. For what your next season is going to be like. Hallelujah. And in fact what your next year is going to be like. But the first thing you got to do. Before you do anything else. Is learn how to praise God. Out of the depths of your soul. Because every time you praise, you charge the atmosphere. Every time you praise God, you make me devils begin to tremble. Every time you praise God, you wrap your hands around the neck of the enemy. And you're getting ready to move him where you want him to be. You can take somebody's life out if you have your hands around their neck. Lean on your neighbor and say, stop playing with the devil. And choke him out in the name of the Lord. Your praise will choke the devil. Your praise will run him out. Open your mouth and shout glory. Watch this. He says, your hand will be in the neck of your enemy. First of all, all the other tribes are going to be subject to Judah. All the other stuff in your life is going to be in subjection to your praise. Oh, God, help me. If you and I don't learn how to praise God, not based on a situation, but praise him because he's God, if you learn how to praise him, amen, when you don't get what you want, and you learn how to praise him, when things don't look like it's going to end. Huh? When you learn how to praise him. When the storm ain't over yet. Huh? But you praise him anyhow. Huh? That's what Leah did. Huh? She said, I don't care if he loves me or not. Huh? I'm giving God glory. Huh? Give your neighbor a high five. Huh? And say, give him glory anyway. Huh? Give him praise anyway. Huh? Lift him up anyway. Huh? Magnify him anyway. Huh? Glorify him anyway. Huh? Honor him anyway. 
because it doesn't matter what people are doing God deserves the glory watch this he said Judah is a lion's well or a lion's cub <laughs> but wait he said he crouched down like a lion you ever seen a lion or a cat getting ready to pounce see you got young lion strength shake somebody's hand say I got young lion strength my praise oh God help me your praise has young lion strength but catch this he said he's like an old lion too so he's got young lion strength but old lion wisdom God help me y'all missed it give somebody a high five I said I got strength and wisdom I got strength and wisdom the strength is the ability to fight the wisdom is to know when. They said, who going to rouse him up? Who going to mess with him? Who going to wake up a sleeping lion? If a lion or a dog is resting, let him rest. You don't want to go around poking bears and poking lions. And messing with him. Lean on somebody and say, y'all didn't catch it. Amen, watch this. Lean on somebody and say, the enemy didn't know what he was doing. You messed with the wrong one. Y'all ain't talking back to me. See, sometimes when the enemy attacks you, you got to let them know you messed with the wrong one. Because I'm a young lion. Now you done got me up? Oh, no. Lean on somebody and say, it just made me praise God. It just made me lift him up. And when you have that mindset to where you're going to praise God, where you're going to lift him up, where you're going to glorify him. Watch. Watch this. They said when in the book of Judges, when Joshua was off the scene, and they still had to conquer some land, they said, whom... They asked the Lord, they inquired of the Lord, Lord, who, which tribe do you want to go up first? See, the right to rule, that's what that scepter was talking about. Kingdom authority always rests in Judah. When you're, being under, when you're under attack and you need to regain authority, or a position of power. You don't get it by complaining. You don't get it by rehearsing the story to everybody you see. It's quiet in here now. See, it, you don't get it by sympathy. Oh God, well you all don't know, I'm going, listen. You're not getting the victory with sympathy. He said, you got to go take it. If you're going to have peace of mind, you're not going to be getting it by, please, Mr. Devil, leave me alone. I'm tired of this. I'm tired. I got to read seven steps to a blessing. I got, uh, uh, no, no, no. You get it by taking it. In the name of Jesus, I command you. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, I praise the name of Watch this. Watch. Because see, the enemy is not going to occupy the same place where Jesus is being exalted. If you got a lot of negativity in your mind, it's because you're allowing people to pour junk into you. And then watch this. And now you're regurgitating stuff. You keep telling that same old story. Lino someone said, we already heard it. Uh-oh. Because, see, we, we play on that. We want to see how many likes we can get and how much attention we can get. And after a while, it's like, look, are we ready to move on or what? 
And see, he says, what you're going to have to do is you can't complain and praise in, at the same time. It's impossible. It's impossible for, pra for praise and complaining to work at the same time. So one or the other is going to be dominant. And so now you find that he says, well, who do you want us to, who do you want to send first? Which, which one of the tribes do you want to go into the promised land to possess it? He says, send Judah first. I've delivered it into his hand. Okay, y'all don't believe it. Okay. He said, send me Judah first. Because I don't want Simeon. I don't want Reuben. I don't want Lee. I need Judah. Look at your neighbor and say, give him Judah first. All right, I'm going to let you go because I'm a little tired now. As you're standing, watch this. Watch this. But I'm going to drop something. The Lord just told me something. When they were, when they got into the promised land and they were around the wall of Jericho, you, you know the story, right? So they had, the Lord told Joshua, he said, look, make sure the people have a distance between the Ark of the Covenant and the priests that are bearing it. He said, make sure they got the horns, make sure they got all that. And he said, I want you to march around, you know, march around seven days and be quiet. That's a, that's a, that'll preach all by itself. Look at someone says, just shut up and walk. Somebody remind me to preach that one these days. Just shut up and walk. He said, walk around it one time and go back to camp. Do that six days in a row. On the seventh day, I need you to go seven times, still being quiet. You're going to hold your peace. You ain't got to make no assessment. You ain't got to analyze it. You ain't got to, I don't understand why we out here. How many times do you say this? Are we sure we're going the right way? I'm tired. I don't know if my shoe, I got a rock in my shoe. My sandal, excuse me. But just be quiet and go back to camp. The next, the seventh time on the seventh day, the seventh time on the seventh day, he said, go around it, and then I want you to shout at the wall. See, they weren't shouting at the back of one another's heads. They turned to the wall. They turned to the stronghold and shouted. Understand, look at someone said that meant war. When they shouted at the wall, they blew the when they priest blew the horn, a continuous praise was going forth. And as the continuous praise was going forth, while they were blowing, the people were shouting. The people brought the wall of Jericho down with Judah with a praise. And every one of them went in and possessed the land. Grab those hands and tell them your praise will handle your problem. Your praise will handle your problem. Every one of them is going to handle it. When you put a praise on it, a sustained praise. No enemy can stand before you. Squeeze that hand, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the playbook. Thank you for the strategy. Thank you for telling us the kind of praise 
that drives the enemy out. Thank you for teaching us, for teaching our hands to war and our fingers to fight. And you have given us instruction. And Lord, we thank you. You said that kingdom authority was going to rest with Judah. The right to rule was going to rest with Judah. There was always going to be a lawgiver between its feet until Shiloh come, until it became yours. Now, Lord, help us to operate with kingdom authority, with young lion strength and old lion wisdom. Help us to put a praise on it. Help us to praise you, not based on what you give us, not based on favorable circumstances, but just because you're God all by yourself. This time, we're going to give birth to praise. This time, we're going to send you the first. This time, our hand will be in the neck of our enemies. And we thank you that they will be under our feet. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Open your mouth and give God Judah. Come on, give him Judah. Give him praise. Give him glory. Lift him up. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Lift him up. This is warfare. Hallelujah. Your praise, your praise will handle your problem. Every issue, your praise, your praise, your praise, and we'll do it. Look at somebody and say, your praise will do it. No, yo, no, no, no. Look at somebody and say, your praise is going to do it. See, I just, the Lord just told me something. Sometimes we're riding on somebody else's praises. We're, we're depending on the person next to us or somebody that we know to praise for us. Look at your neighbor and say, you need the miracle. Then you need to praise him. You need healing. You need to praise him. You need to break through. You open your mouth and give God glory. Open up. Come on, ministry team, such as you are. Come on. Amen. We're going to move quickly. In the name of Jesus. Somebody needs to come down. Huh. Huh. The Lord just told me to tell you this. Praise him like your breakthrough depends on it. Because it does. It does. Your breakthrough depends on your praise. A lot of us are <laughs> a lot of us are like some folks with cable. We stealing it from somebody else. Somebody told me I, uh, we had some, an incident with our cable last week and so the, the technician went out and he looked at the pole, and he said, they're not, he said, it's, it's not being stolen from you. But what they did was they split, the, the, the splitter was, it was divi they divided up the cable going to different spots. So that's why our Wi-Fi is not as strong as it should be. Y'all didn't catch that. See, sometimes we're not as strong as we should be because our praise has been split. Or, or, 
we're borrowing from somebody else. We tapped into somebody that's tapped into God. The Lord said that day is over. You got to get your own connection. Oh, I hear you, Holy Ghost. I hear the Lord said, I'm rolling through and snatching out the ones that are connected on to somebody. You got to know him for yourself. You got to praise him for yourself. How many of y'all need that breakthrough? Then I need you to open your mouth and give him that praise. to you I lift my hands in praise praise is who I am I will praise you while I can I trust you at all times and I bow to praise you in the good and the bad. I'll praise you with a happy or sad. I'll praise you in all that I go through because praise is I do, and I owe it all to you. Praise is what I do when I want to be close to you. I lift my hands in praise. Praise. praise is who I am. I will praise you while I can. I trust you at all times. And I vow to praise you in the good and the bad. I praise happy or sad I'll praise you in all that I go through because praise is what I do come on give him praise come on give God glory all over the building God bless you today. Give him praise. Come on, open your mouth. The hand clap is good, but the, the voice with it is even better. Come on, shout hallelujah. 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 Come on and give God glory. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Give God praise. Amen. Amen. We thank God for a first-time visitor that's with us, Doyle Jones. Doyle. Amen. God bless you, man. From Youngstown, Ohio. I used to, I used to be out there all the time with Bishop Wagner at, at the Mount Calvary. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. We're glad to have you with us. Give God glory. Amen. Oh, you're from Mount Calvary. Oh, all right. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. We're uh, Bishop Sean Tyson's pastor now. Amen. That was, yeah, that was my old stomp. I used to go there every year. Amen. Uh, we thank God for you being with us. Amen. This morning. Amen. Give God one more hand praise all over the building. All right. 
um, we will not have Bible study tomorrow in Palmdale um, because of the holiday. So we want you to enjoy your Labor Day. And, um, but we will have Bible study on Tuesday night at 7.30. That's following our 7 p.m. prayer here in the main sanctuary. And uh, we will be having Bible study. Our series continues. Keep your head up. Amen. Keep your head up. The Lord is blessing us. If you uh, haven't been able to be in the first two sessions of this uh, series, you, you've been missing out. But you can catch up on Tuesday night. And uh, I was telling those that are in Palmdale, uh, and I see Sister Nakawa here. Sister Shanae is here. Amen. <laughs> and we thank God for you. I was telling them, I said, they can tune in on uh, Tuesday night at 7.30. We'll be streaming that Bible study, so you all will be, you know, remain caught up uh, with uh, what's going on. And then also, uh, or you can come in person, you know, it's actually, you guys have access to both places. You know, everybody can go, you can go to, you can flow freely from Palmdale to San Fernando and San Fernando to Palmdale, you know, you, you, have, you have all access pass to all the ministries of Spirit and Life. Um, so we thank God for you. Uh, thank you to those of you that have have bought the book for mature audiences only. Um, uh, we thank God for all of you that have. How many of you have purchased it already? Let me see your hands. Wave your hands in the air. Amen. Uh, how many of you are, are reading it already or have already read it? You like it? You good? You happy? You, you know, you guys can let me know, you know, if it's cool. Um, and we've been posting some of them. We started to post them yesterday on uh, Steve Hamilton ministry page and my social media. Uh, we've got some reviews that were um, really amazing. So if you have a review and you want to you get it posted, anyway, you want to get it posted, you can, <laughs> you can send it to me. And, uh, uh, but we really appreciate it. Hope you all are being blessed by the book. And, uh, uh, and you can get your copy today. Now, uh, some of you have pre-ordered it. I'm, I'm, I need to try to check with Barbara to see, because we mailed out a lot of them over the, on Friday. And some folks got them yesterday, which is great. And so um, we want to make sure that those of you that pre-ordered, especially get your signed copy. And uh, then you can buy it today. You can buy it in a couple of ways. Um, You got the baddest band in the world, I'm telling you. You can, you know, they're $20 and you can do cash. You can go cash app. Bishop Steve H on cash app. PayPal is my name. Stephen Hamilton, S-T-E-P-H-E-N. You can make a check payable to Stephen Hamilton. Yeah, not necessarily Steve Hamilton Ministries, but just Stephen Hamilton to work. But I thank you all for your support, and um, buy a couple of copies. Send some people to, to your people back east, you know. It's a, it, it, it'll bless you. Simi is, is, is sitting in for Sam, and, but, and so he's just, you know, over there grooving. I'm going to let y'all go, because I feel it's a, it's some barbecue music or something, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Folks start breaking out, trying to electric slide in a second. So. But anyway, um, let's, let's go before I get in trouble. Amen. It's offering time. I'm trying to think where I put my... I think it's in my office. My little... As you're standing... <laughs> it's offering time. Hold your offering up in the air. And say, I praise God for my financial needs being met and operating in overflow. 
Thank you. In Jesus' name. You're in the hands of the ushers and the deacons. You can also purchase T-shirts. How many of y'all like this T-shirt? You can purchase yours today. And, Daryl, you don't need no 3X. That's just ridiculous. We're not, we're not doing it, sir. Anyway, but, yeah, you can purchase them. Um, and we're going to have those available for you in Jesus' name. You can buy them today. If you'd like to give electronically, see Sister Carla. She can uh, use your debit card with Sister Carla. Or you can go to paypal.me forward slash spirit and life. Everybody be safe over the holiday. God bless you. Have a blessed week.